Hey, so Grecum's new weekly rotation is on fire, quite literally, um, and we're going to be talking about it. If you guys weren't here for my last video, I talked about last week's rotation and all the news that happened last week, because I kind of didn't upload for a bit. But we're back with more Grecum news, and uh, yeah. Let, let's get started. Now, this is Ruckram's new Alien Inscursion Weekly Shop. As you guys can see, it has like an obvious alien theme to it. It's some sort of space theme. We have fire everywhere going on. We can enter this little area in here in this little, you know, chamber. And there's even an infected Kevin in here too. And all this goo. But other than all the crazy stuff, we also have a new weekly rotation and a shop that's just full of new items. As you guys can see, we have like this infected astronaut set that's going on here. We have this Tome of Cosmos. McElderich, the Volume 1 book, which is quite literally just like the old Teller book, but reskinned. 15,000 tokens, by the way. I am not buying that! But if you are, use my cup, please! We also got a new squid hat, it looks so nice! Ugh, main outfit potential, seriously. We also have Cosmic Cultist book, which is 15,000 tokens as well. I am not buying that! But then we have, like, this Elderwich fanware. It has some leggings if you guys are interested. Then we have the Return of the Space Monkey backpack and all these other items. Ah, my flesh! My flesh! With this weekly rotation, we also got a new weekly rotation image. Of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on it. And if you guys go to the store inside your watch and go to discounted offers, you guys will see that we have some new discounted offers. If you don't know what this is, it's basically items that are like 50% off or are just on sale and stuff. So be sure to check it out. Ta-da! This is the Rec Center shop and we have a new Recon Plus seasonal item. Ah! New featured creator! Um, I don't think we have new featured rooms. I think these are all the same. Yeah, these are all the same. And, uh, yeah. Just new featured creator. This board on the rec center had also changed, saying, See you at RecCon September 27th through 29th. Are you guys going to be going to RecCon? Because I am. Now, you guys could probably obviously tell from the title and thumbnail, but My Little Monsters had received an update. It's been so long since Reckham has updated a Reckham original, and you love to see it, finally. If you guys didn't see it inside your watch notification, Reckham also had a little announcement been talking about it. Check out My Little Monsters update now! Take a seat downtown and watch your monsters interact with each other, or take a peek by the fallen tree, which might reveal a hidden path. Go to My Little Monsters to see for yourself. It also got a new thumbnail change as well. It seems like Requiem is going to make notice when there's new updates to Requiem Originals. Now, to make this very simple for you, there's basically four new things inside of My Little Monsters. You can now bounce on the umbrellas, and they give you a bounce effect, as you guys can see. Boing! You and your monster or cryptid can sit down inside downtown now, so that's kind of cool, I guess. And the cryptids inside of My Little Monsters now display reactions and quote-unquote have more personality. Basically, the only thing that they'll basically do is kind of react to what's going on. They'll also interact with their surroundings, for example, maybe like sitting on this fence post or on like a chair here. Shoot, they even sit on this door sill over here by the Monster HQ and kind of dance, cry, or, or, or do any sort of reaction. It's pretty cute, honestly. I love how Requiem added that to the cryptids and it honestly adds a whole nother layer onto the cryptids, I'm gonna be honest. Oh my gosh, I don't have any footage of it though, but when like the monster starts crying, it's so funny guys. Oh my gosh. Anyways, for the last and final update, there's some new map changes inside of My Little Monsters as well. You guys will see that if you guys go over here and you're by like this food area, you'll see that this tree is broken down and has a bunch of mushrooms next to it. When you decide to go up this tree, you're going to have to bounce on these mushrooms and it'll take you to this weird cabin that's on top of this mountain. Now, I made a video before about it talking about what was on top of this cabin and it was just empty and it was open and stuff, so that was that, but this is confirmed to be Cornelius's cabin. It's a new hangout spot inside of My Little Monsters, and of course, it's just like a cabin up here. Same thing, your cryptids kind of interact with the surroundings and environment and stuff like that, and it's just another POI inside the actual, you know, Requiem original. It does have some interesting information about, like, this text here, something going on with all these monsters and whatnot. This is obviously Mothman. This is obviously Sasquatch. And I'm gonna guess this one's Chubacabra? Yeah, it probably is. If you come out here to this actual cabin, you guys will notice that we kind of have, like, this little hidden path over here. Here. There's like not this cave area, but more just this path. So if you go down it, you guys can see it's like its own little thing. I don't know if this was here before this at all happened, but I think it's new. I think this may have been closed off, like those barriers over there. But we have this private road, no trespassing, and it seems like there could be more content inside this, honestly. What do you think Reckham could use this for? Be sure to let me know your theories and predictions down below. If I had to theorize, I'm just gonna throw it out there. 
definitely some sort of new point of interest for sure. Hopefully it's super cool and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And now that was all the news inside of Rec Room, but we actually have news outside of Rec Room. Essentially, I call it developer talk. It's basically where the Rec Room community interacts with developers inside the Rec Room Discord server. If you have Discord and you like Rec Room, it's very essential you're in that Discord server because it's basically anything Rec Room. Even when the servers are messed up, the game statuses, you know, kind of, you know, tells us when the game's messed up and when the developers actually fix it. For example, on the 5th of September, the game had just a really bad server accident and they were maintaining it, and it took them two whole days to be able to get it back to normal. So if you weren't connected with the community, you probably wouldn't have any idea what's going on. Oh yeah, you know what time it is. So on my YouTube channel, I have a thing called the channel Memberships. Basically, if you decide to give me money every month, I will give you perks, and those perks are sneak peeks to videos and being shouted out in all of my videos. So anyways, massive shout out to all these people. We have a bunch of new Squidling joiners, which I love to see. Thank you all my Squidlings. But for my Calamari and above, we have Jack Tutorial, The Dragon Boy, Bear to Bear, Nat the Pup, Mr. Ink, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dota Blade Cap, UBB Burning Owl, Yo Chicky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix X9, and of course, Box David. Thank you for all the love, folks, and if you're not inside the channel membership, you definitely consider joining. Anyways, enough talk about that part of the Discord server. Basically, this developer talk is important because they talk about new features that might be coming soon, or news that you may want to look forward to and stuff. So of course, let's stop wasting time and let's get into it. Right off the bat to talk about it, when a Rec Room player was talking about being excited for streetwear and official longer hairs inside a Rec Room, Jay, the Rec Room developer, had confirmed that one of the Avatar Studio White Glove program folks has been prepping some hairs, so you might see some new styles from them soon. Basically, UGC items and stuff like that, and if you guys are confused about this white glove program, it's five handpicked creators with a lot of game ready character creation experience previously, and they're guiding them into a six weeks long onboarding with Avatar Studio. Don't know what Avatar Studio is? Go watch my video talking about it. Though, if you want a TLDR about it, it basically just allows creators to make items inside a Rec Room or UGC. Continuing onwards, a Rec Room community member had basically asked a Rec Room developer that wasn't it the plan to add more cryptids at one point instead of my little monsters? Whoever the Rec Room developer confirmed that not in this update at least. We might still have to do that at some point though, but this update was focused more on making downtown a better social space. So not really a confirmation on more monsters coming soon, but it's definitely a possibility. And you remember that one bug that I talked about inside my last video talking about how players can make their mouths super big? Apparently they can also make them super small as well, but that's kind of besides the point. Well, it seems like the Rec Room community really likes this bug, and they like the fact that they have more customization with their expressions and stuff. Even so, it was confirmed by Joe animation, the Rec Room developer, that haha, as hilarious as this looks, we have a fix coming for the issue. That said, we do want to reevaluate our scale ranges to give as much freedom as we can without avatars looking broken. When asked if their saved outfits will be fixed too, Joe animation said that I believe yes. And there were some good points made by Werewolf, the Rec Room YouTuber, talking about this actual bug and how they should have more customization with expressions inside of Rec Room. Joe animation had agreed with Werewolf, saying good point, I think there's some really cool opportunities to improve emotes and facial expression in general, definitely something we're interested in exploring. So of course, people, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on all the news that we got from Rec developers about future things coming soon. I'll be looking at your guys' comments, and that's pretty much it for this entire news video. If you guys want more Rec news, I make tons of Rec news videos, so check out all my news videos. You guys can see a video on that side of the screen, and shoot, even if you have a friend that plays Rec Room, they might want to know the most recent news as well, so feel free to share this video. I'm probably going to start streaming more, and I kind of just stream whenever I feel like it, so expect it, I guess, but you should totally have push notifications on so whenever I do go live you'll get the notification. Thank you for all the love folks be sure to subscribe and like the video of course all that crazy stuff. Anyways bye bye!